Okay, so let's get into the main news, the piece of resistance. Word. X-Men what do you want to talk about? X-Men 97. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? X-Men 97. By the way, uh, I wasn't here for last week's um, first two episode reactions. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Amazing, by the way. Yeah. And also, if you skip the intro at all during this entire series, you're a freaking loser. That's all I got to say. I'm just going to start there. Polar said he skips the intro. Yeah. Loser. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, shit. Also, guys, if you guys are watching, tell a friend to tell a friend to become a hothead. There's going to be a lot of nice things coming out for the hotheads. Yep, that's what I heard. Nice things. Nice things. Good things nice. are happening for the, the good things, things are gonna are be nice. happening. It's gonna be happening for the hotheads. So, no, my bad. I, allergies, my fault. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not already a hothead, I, I would suggest that you do so. I, I, it's, a, it's only you a couple guys already, You guys are already getting snippets of the t- of the content that we're giving out to the hotheads. So, yeah, it's going to yeah. be a, it's going to be a lot, and it's going to be coming. Pause fast. Nah. <laughs> mm. No, did he? No, yeah. anyway, no I, was, I, was, I was I was waiting for it, but I was gonna no, let you finish what you're no, doing. Diddy. Shout, out to, <laughs> shout out to Cam, shout out to Cam and Mace, man. That's that no Diddy's popping right now. Yo, no mm. The fact that it came from Mace was like, yo, I was like of all people, I was like, Mace, yo, Jesus, I, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. He's been, he been killing Diddy. Oh, oh man, do you, you know how long he's been? Do you know how long he's probably been holding on to this? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for he, sure. He's why sure. right now, bro. You kidding me? Yeah. All right, I'm assuming, so I'm assuming she just heard the, the Batman impression. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry, X Men '97. My bad. I get distracted yes. easily. All right, who wants to start it off? All right, clone clone Jean Grey, Madeline Pryor. What do we think? Yeah, of clone Jean Grey. Um, yeah. So obviously, Leo almost gave it all away last week, and we told him to stop. He was about to just go on into this next episode. Son of a. I mean, bitch. it's just you, if you if you if you gotta let it happen, you, man. You uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm you kidding. Wanna, I'm you, kidding. Guys, you guys want to know the next episode? No, 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 no. no, no. no just, let, just let just let me enjoy my Wednesdays, man. You know what I mean? Just, I'm good. Just let me. I'm I, you know I'm feeling good about where we're at. Um, I really enjoyed the episode, and 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 it's like I. I love the um I don't know, I, I just love where the story is going. I have an idea of where the story is going to Leo's point because I have some idea of the comics a little bit. I haven't read the whole thing, but um it's definitely gonna be I, I love the way it's been written so far, which makes me think that whole firing thing. I'm like, hopefully they don't fuck it up since he's not the one doing season three and whatever they do moving forward. Um, but can I just say something? I'm gonna say something and then we're gonna get into like more of the details. The more I watch. And maybe I'm nitpicking, so if anybody's going to blast me in the comments, feel free to do so. Okay. The Magneto costume is really pissing me off. I don't like it. You don't like the big I, M? I don't, no, I don't. I, don't I, want, I don't mind no. the M. I, I hate no. the sleeves. I don't the like the Magneto, me off. The Magneto the cut, outfit. The cut off on the sleeves. They really just make me weird. Like, look, like, look at Madeline, Madeline Pryor. Like, you know how Madeline Pryor has the cut off on the legs thing? Like, that's nice. Magneto cut off sleeves? Eh, weird. No Diddy, Com- but like weird. Wait, is it, is, no, that costume's comic accurate. He wore yes. that in the. Yes. Yeah, he no, wore he the, wore that. That's, yes. I don't. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't remember that That's costume. There's being in the, uh, the comic. Uh, the co- hmm. I forgot what comic it is. When he's uh, the cover is him in during the trial, handcuffed, like in that suit. Like that's huh. uh, yeah. This is yeah. this is the one thing. Okay. This is the one thing that I am loving about this series. Hmm. This is gonna bring very up accurate. Up it's comic. Very, uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, the accuracy of this series. It's hitting. It's hitting on a lot of things, but it's, it's it is also missing a couple things. But where it's hitting, it's supposed it, it tells you enough of the story that you know you can follow along. So for the it's it's fitting right in the certain it's fitting right in the pocket where it's supposed to be. Oh shit! He did wear this in the comics. I just looked it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't believe us? Yeah, that no, was no. Thing. I no, I believe you. I just I just didn't know. Yeah, so I'm so used to, I'm so used to the conventional fucking. The cape and the, you know, like I like, you know, the, I don't know, I don't know. I just I like that. I like I like that costume better. The OG up, one from, from the original. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my bad. Anyways, anyway, continue. Yeah, so we got we have the whole. She's coming back. Uh, Jean's coming back, and now we have the whole story of Mister Sinister, the guy I've been asking for 
for the guy. longest fucking time. <laughs> That's the guy. That's the That's guy. guy. Can, I, can I actually say something about Mr. Sinister? Yes. I there were times like where where like you're looking at his animation. I feel like a lot of his character like was animated too dark in certain places. Like I feel like mm. in the original series, like he looked a lot bigger yes. and like yes, menacing right. and like you're you know right. what i mean you're like right. like you're fuller right. like yep, that's the right. only that was right. the only like thing i didn't like about him but i thought listen the voice was on point yeah he, you know the way when he got blasted in the chest like that was very <laughs> like awesome and accurate um but like and when he would the fade back into accurate. the dark he was creepy as hell dude yeah. the way he fade back into the shadows like the original series awesome but like there like that was the only thing i'm like i feel like he looked a little bit more menacing they, in the '90s show. They they almost made him, like you said, like less menacing and more like horror. Yeah, like yeah. he was more like spooky than he was like actually physically everything, a presence. Which... Everything looked better in the older. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Version. I have a question for you guys. When you guys when you guys saw Morph going into the shower, you thought this shit was gonna go left, didn't you? I no, sure no, did. No, no, I, no. I sure did. <laughs> no, I was no, like, no, no, no. I didn't. <laughs> No, I, didn't. I thought it was gonna go left, right, and center. No diddy, okay, no diddy. I thought it was going left, right, and center. Yo, wait. Let me tell you something about Morph. When Morph cracked that joke on Gambit, I almost yo. lost it. Yo, Listen, he said, yo, he said, he said, yo, he said they're working on their stamina. I was no, like, not even that. No, you know I what the best like, part of that was? Nah. You know, what the, no. Let me tell you the best part of that was beep. It's the look. It's the look that he gives him while he's beep, doing beep, it. Like, yeah, it yeah. Was like, was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, Bro. Morph's an asshole. Shit, uh, yo, man. That's I was literally up. just like, I was like, this is for adults. Big. That's yeah, exactly it is. Like. Sure is. <laughs> he is quickly becoming like the X variable. He might take over yo, the season. He, he, he literally, might. He, he literally might. said, he, he literally said, oh season. look, they have it from. From ten to twelve, from twelve to four, from four to like, I'm like, wow, they really have it for a long time. <laughs> he looked, yeah, he looked over at him. Was, yeah, my man, yeah, man, for a long my, time. My, Gambit. my boy Gambit's about to make an R and B album after this. Yo. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck else he's gonna do. I don't know what else he's gonna do. He's definitely depressed. He's on his, he's on his old Drake right now. <laughs> if you saw him, he was like, oh, I'm gonna go find him. Uh -huh. Morph was just laughing. Morph was like, lay off. And Wolverine yeah. was just lay off, Morph. Bro, that shit had me rolling. Yeah, that. <laughs> Yo, but I thought Wolverine was about to get it in with Gene. Oh, 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 I know. Yeah, I know what you're yeah, talking. But, yeah, but they, yeah, but they shared that moment. And long story short, here comes Scott's name out of her mouth. Yeah, yeah I, of I, I hate to tell Wolverine, but he in the friend folder, bro. That's that's done. He got that friend zone bitch. worse than Kai Sinat with Tyler yeah, the other bro. night. <laughs> <laughs> That was bad, though. That was fucking terrible. Oh, anyway, yeah. That was terrible. Yeah. He's, oh, he's man. But um, an another thing uh, this show's doing really well, in my opinion, I like how they're showing the powers. Like, mm -hmm. I like Magneto's magnetism. Like, the way they did Gene, like, I thought, like, like the blue, the way it was coming out looked cool. Like, it's different. Well, um, I, I didn't realize. I actually had to go. The, the, you know what I love about the show? This is from my perspective. Like, I don't. I, I don't consider myself an expert on the X-Men by any means. So I actually had to go after the show was over. And I was like, how strong is is Madeline? Because I was like, she was right there with Magneto, like fucking him up. And I was like, oh, OK, like she's strong. Like she's really fucking strong. He's a direct so I was like, clone. yeah, um, really Gene, right, right. I'm looking this up. I'm like, I, di I didn't know that she's a direct clone and had the powers. And like, I didn't realize that was the extent of her power level. I was like, oh, shit, that's fucking she's tough. Mm -hmm. I was this like, wow. This storyline is one of the one of the peaks of the X Men nine uh, X Men ninety seven uh, animated series, mm. but it didn't get the as much. Series? Yeah, the animated series because it was a, it didn't get a lot of shine in the in the animated series. It only got like a two parter, I think. It was mm. a two or three parter in the animated series that because we got the Savage Lands and then we got um, Sinister, but then you have Morph in this series. He started to remember Mister Sinister, and when Mister Sinister comes starts coming in through the baby monitor. And breaks out her powers, That's and you bloody. get to see you get to mm. see the he doesn't give a fuck. He just wants to make the perfect mutant and take over the right. fucking world. So okay. that's why this storyline is based off of that. If I can't go any deeper because I'll start going into the next episode. <laughs> so I want to go. 
stuff that I like. I got a baby with a techno virus. Yo, yo, you already know where that's going. Yep. Yo, he looked cr- the baby oh. looked crazy after all that. Right. I was like, oh shit. Also, I will I will tell you something that I didn't like. In the very beginning, where they did previously on X Men, it was Gene's voice. I didn't like it. You didn't yeah, like it. Did I. I didn't, I didn't like, like it. I didn't That's like fair. It. I didn't like That's it. That's fair. I, didn't like, fair. I, didn't, know I didn't like it. I didn't like what they depicted to be Charles's voice. To be exactly oh, was it a little too different? I, I don't. It, a, I don't... it felt a lot different to me. Yeah. My I'm, might be the same actor. I'm not I don't know if it's sure. the same actor. I, I, I'm not yeah, sure. I'm not yeah, sure. He didn't sound know. like my, he didn't sound like Charles. Trust me. But like mm. um, the horror elements in this episode like really stood out. Like when they were in um, when they were in the house and they were going through the different rooms yes. and like all the crazy monsters were coming out. Like I I, I know you guys love that shit, right? Like yeah. uh-huh, of course. You're all about, you're all about the lights. The shit. Leo turned the lights on at that for. point. <laughs> Leo turned the lights on at that. Point. Leo turned the lights on for sure. Yeah, well, but the weird scene of it is the beast scene. The beast, the, <laughs> the beast scene was weird. I, I was, was like, like, okay, so the monster just oh, he opens the door. There's a monster there, and he's like, "Hello there," and then he sticks out his tongue. I think one of us got the wrong floor. One of us got the wrong floor. How about how about how about Gambit going into the room and seeing like like uh, Rogue and Magneto oh, like, the, being, like their skin yeah, going into each other? Like, I'm like, Ugh. Got him. oh, I was like, no way. That you was know, horrible. I mean, I mean that's those... one way to do it. There are other ways to but do Madeline it. But Madeline is... Uh, the, the, the way the story is going to go and the way it should go, it, it's you guys are in for a treat. And that's why this story is going to lead into the X-Men live-action Sinister story. They're going to leave you I, on I a... Cl- so. They're going to leave you on a very good cliffhanger. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So. Dude, cool. honestly, if Mar- if the MCU I mean, was smart, they would go right to Sinister, man. They need they need We need something I'm, here. I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm down because we haven't seen it in live action yet, but my, my concern was seeing it twice in animation and in live action. I was like, is that going to be too much sinister? Dude, at that point? We, like, this is what th- you th- came th- for. Yeah, you're yeah. not definitely going to be seeing it twice. Yeah. If it's what Leo says, then it's a continuation of what yeah, we're watching. That, that's different. I agree. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a different thing. I, I, mean, I, then, I was thinking they were going to retell the same thing again, and then I'm like, I would why, or the, you know, I, I don't know. It, it also, all depends on what the MCU decides to do. But and also, if they, if that's what they're doing, now imagine Henry Cavill as Mister Sinister. He's introducing the new X Men, and then you get that major fight. I don't. I don't know if I can. I just can't see him as Sinister. I don't know what it is, but I just. Yeah, I can't. He, he, I get he, it. I get where you're coming from, but. I he already has the hair, dude. Yeah, I can see I him doing it. Yeah, you think so? Doing doing it. It. Hmm. Interesting. I can see you. I can see him. the That's power what, level alone. He's he will be good for. I mean, look, and then, and it's a full face. So yep. His face. It is. He's just blue. Yeah. I guess. And you, um, you, you don't realize how evil Mister Sinister is. This motherfucker dunked a baby inside of a tube of fucking and gave him a techno virus. Gave, and gave, her, gave him a virus. A baby. <laughs> you gonna be, yep. be the vulnerable boy. To be honest, I'm, 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 honestly, in, in this in this day and age, I'm surprised they even did it. Like, just to you know what I mean. Like, I'm surprised mm-hmm. they even showed you that. Like, let's throw this baby in a freaking tube and let's hey, let's experiment on that baby. Listen, mm-hmm. if if the I'm flash, so glad they did it. If the Flash can put a baby in a microwave, <laughs> I, think, I think I think a tube of water would be all right. True. Yeah, um, but, uh, what yeah. else? We also got morph turned into uh, I think Spiral. Huh? the chick from the chick from Mojo World. What was her name? Spiral. 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 Yep. Spiral. Sorry. Oh, trust me, I was waiting for that. <laughs> yep. The, the chick from Lindsay Lohan World. She was. Stop it! Stop, stop! Stop! What happened? I didn't say Ow. anything. What happened? Cut it out, man. <laughs> and then, and then we could get. And then we get. At the end. Yeah. So if you don't know, I don't think Do they're gonna know? touch. If you guys don't know. Gene and Scott's, oh, Madeline and Scott's mm-hmm. son, son is, is Cable. Yep. Yeah, Cable. If you guys haven't figured that out yet. Yeah. Cable. Mm-hmm. I was looking at that baby. That virus is right up on top of that. Yeah, that virus is exactly <laughs> where it needs to be. I was going to say, right where it needed to be, huh? <laughs> you got it right. There we go. Yeah, and then, you, then, we, lose, then we, uh, we lose Bishop. He goes right. back into his own time. Yep. And then... But, they they kind of they kind of uh, they kind of skirted I over. I can't, I can't go ahead with them because I'm gonna fucking say something yeah, that I am not supposed no, to say. No, say it. 
No, I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> I, I would... thought they I thought that they like kind of like went over the whole bishop being here thing. Like they didn't touch no. on it enough. They they mentioned it and then it just kind of got dropped. Like, yeah, but they're gonna. Like, I want more explanation. I was like, I want more yeah, explanation they're, why they're he's gonna, here. We're gonna go with Bishop Bishop to the future at some point. Like, oh, yeah, I'm assuming. I can't. I'm not gonna remember. I, I, I haven't watched it. It's been many, many years. Yeah. But isn't he still here from the original series? Yeah, yeah. Yep. He he right. he is. He is. I get that. But I feel like I feel like they mentioned it, and then like Beast cut him off and stopped him from explaining. The whole reason why he's here in the fucking first place, I mean, right? Because what, and I was like, like I was like, like, go back and watch the old one. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. Not, you watch not. the old one, he gets, he gets. You, you'll get the. The thing is, they picked up exactly, um, almost exactly where yeah, the old one left off. Yeah. yeah. So if you watch, yeah, I think the last three or four episodes, you'll get the bishop. Yeah. You get the bishop explanation in there, so that's why they didn't deep dive into it. So they're like, mm-hmm. okay, so like when people like. Anybody who does hasn't seen the anime the animated series, they can say, "Oh, where the fuck did he come?" Hey, go watch. This is the one gripe that I have with Marvel right now too. This is one thing that DC is doing better than them. They are. They no, this this is just true what? as a comic as a comic as a comic okay. book head mm-hmm. as a as a comic book head. Mm. They give you the issues that they're working on. So they'll tell you. Oh. So I, I this is yeah, from yeah. this comic book. This is from this comic book. This is from this comic book. Hmm. They need to do this with this new series because a lot of these kids nowadays haven't don't know about Uncanny X Men. They but, need to do it, it in the recap. Like, like, but, like but, pre- if we get to yeah. a Bishop episode yeah, previously yeah. on X Men, here's how Bishop got here. Here's where we're going. Oh, just, yeah. oh, just, oh, but this will drive their sales though. If you put yeah. the comic book in there. And say, okay, this is the book that we're 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 working with. Mm-hmm. So this is the run that we're going to be working with. Boom, because already all the X, oh, you can't find an uncanny X Men on a, in a fucking comic book shop right now. That's oh, no. under fifteen fucking dollars. No, oh, of course no. you mm-hmm. can. There's no shot. So it's like fifteen dollars. The lowest I've seen it is ten bucks for an uncanny X Men. Mm-hmm. So I would suggest anybody who's a comic book head wait until the end of the series and then try to see if the dry, the prices drop. But I, the way this series is going to go, and the way how good it is being, is yeah. going, and the storyline is going, Listen, it's season, not going to drop. Season two is already written. You know they're going to work yeah. on season three. This this show ain't going anywhere because oh, yeah. it's got too much traction. It's got um, it's, yeah. it's got a perfect fucking Rotten Tomato score. Yep. Also, <laughs> are, are we not going to talk about Forge and Storm? Oh, what? That I can't ends. get into. I can't go into that. We're not, yeah, like, it's, so, it's, it's in the it end. Happened. It's, it's yeah, in it the happened series. at the end. It did. It happened at the end. We can get into it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you you yeah. can't spoil anything, but you can okay. get into it. Okay, so where well, I'm going to go is why is for, why why do we introduce Forge? Why do we introduce Forge? Why do we? I, I don't know. Why do we was, introduce Forge? Where did Forge come from? Well, Forge actually said, I'm going to get you your powers back. He pretty much said that. He did, he did say it. Back. He did say it. No, that's actually what he said. He's like, let me get you what you lost. Yep. But yeah, let me get you what you lost. But he's the one who created the gun to kill Magneto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the part I didn't, that's want, that's that's I didn't part. want to tell you guys. No, that's fine. And, it, it is what it is. It's like, and part. then the the next episode. That, you know, you know what? I'm gonna be <laughs> See, we'll no, that's fine. Stop. Week. No, listen. Stop. Stop I have there. To, I'm right there dude, because if I say <laughs> if, if I go fine. forward. They're gonna know listen, this. Episode. Listen, listen obviously, his, his, name, his, name, his name is Forge. He forged a weapon. Yes. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Nothing crazy there. I just I had a I had two like other quick notes that I just wanted to mention that like caught my eye from the episode. So like I love the fact that when they were doing all the flashback scenes of like Madeline slash Gene and Scott through the years, yes. the, the faces yeah. were all melted off as if to say like <laughs> we don't know when they switched. Like has it has it been Madeline this whole time dating back to the beginning of X Men ninety like the original series like we don't know and it was like right. I thought that was really cool. Like I was like, okay, so we really, and then at the end they tied it all together by having Gene and Scott like stand away from each other and look at each other like, I don't fucking know you. Like, what the fuck? I don't even know how long I've actually been with you or not. I have no idea if we're like a like a real thing. So maybe my boy, maybe, maybe Wolverine could swoop in. And I'm just fucking <laughs> but this is the whole thing with with that. I love the. That's a great point. And also, you got to see the first iteration of. Cyclops, yeah, and the original team and everything else. Mm-hmm. You got you got all that in mm-hmm. the flashback. I love the like, flashbacks. Oh, I almost remembered, but Scott 
Scott is he still get they still giving him a little bit of a bitch vibe because he fucked up his own room. He did. I mean, it's gonna happen. It's gonna you happen. know what I mean? Yeah. It's gonna happen. No, he you've been, can't you, 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 you had a gene. You've been clumping yeah. cheeks for all this time. I mean, shooting up the club. You, you listen, shooting up the club. Listen, you, 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 get, you got a baby out of a she you let him be pissed. Hit it. <laughs> hey, listen, you, somebody you, show you let him <laughs> listen. He had he had a gene, he didn't have the gene. Yeah. Fair. Well, and what another G was doing, like, hey, let me show you something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Thousand came up. <laughs> um, I, I also, I also uh, noted down here that two episodes now. So obviously, episode one, we had um, Gambit hop on Wolverine for the power up, and yeah. then in this one, we got Cyclops charging up Bishop. Yeah, get, and I was like. That shit was fucking. I was like, no, yeah, that's cool. fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, it's cool. dope, but I mean, that's just that's like that's what he does. Like, yeah, like, yeah. It's just the way the way they're presenting and animating yeah, yeah. the powers, I really like. Yeah, I, I like that they're used. They're, they're like it's actually like a team. A team. You know what I'm saying? Like we work together, and you know, the, this is the shit we train for. Although Rogan and Magneto are getting a little excessive with the training, but besides, besides <laughs> that, twelve that hours in a <laughs> yeah, row, man. Oh, that power up's gonna go crazy when we see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, but Magneto's a G, though. Hour. You gotta realize I, Magneto's listen, a G. I wouldn't want Yo, Magneto, Magneto clapping Magneto. my girl's cheeks. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about all that. I don't know about yeah, all that, Magneto's fam. A, Magneto got some kids out here. If, if I was Gambit, I would, I would, you know, yeah, time to challenge him to a duel and, and hold this L. You know what I mean? Got to hold this. <laughs> Gambit will get his ass whooped with this I know. Magneto. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, he will, I know. he will fuck up everybody's favorite character. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't you know? I just, I need, I need my Gambit to not be depressed. I love that guy. You know what I mean? He's, yeah, I like the. He's confident. he's depressed right now, and it's not. I like, I like confident Gambit. I need that guy back. You know what I mean? Like right now, he's. He's sulking. He, you know, he's wait. He's looking like Wolverine right now. Yeah, he's, 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 he's holding the picture. He's holding the picture. <laughs> he's we, like, oh. listen. He's like, oh my sugar. We, we know. We know what the. We know what's going on in the training room. <laughs> yeah, you already know. Yeah, it's getting magnetic in there. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh <laughs> shit. But you also see, like, where we were talking about Madeline's powers. It's she's on the next level, dude. Yeah, she's. She, I didn't realize how strong she was, bro. She's fucking strong. I, I don't. I didn't know all that. And the way, so. though, dude, the G part about it, the way she cut off, she was like, yeah. "I'm gonna live my own life. Mm -hmm. I've been living everybody else's life. Fuck yeah, they, that. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, I don't give yeah. a fuck about Scott. I lost my baby. She so had I'm a name gone. for herself and everything. She was like, "Yep, Madeline Pryor." That's what you call me. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, Down. shit. I'm assuming she'll probably be back at some point, right? Like they probably won't get rid of her through the whole, like maybe for a while, but we might not see yeah. her this. Will season. she be not, back, Leo? I don't know. Not this season. I was gonna Next say season. not this season. I'm assuming in another season. Or Next, two. Uh, if they do it, is she'll be back. Three, probably season three, because she is a part of the X Men. Yeah, I was gonna say they left it off on a like she could come back. Like Jean was like, "Oh, stay. This is your family too." Like she's gonna come back. It's obvious. They he, made it obvious. He, but this is why Scott fucked up. This is why he's a fucking little bitch to me. Why? Because he, he could be he could be clapping double <laughs> chicks now. <laughs> with, with Del, see? You, you my brother. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> he could have been played this cool as shit. Oh. It would have had both. Boy. Well, honestly, the the scene that for me with uh with Cyclops when he was like, <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna abandon my son. Yo, oh Walk my god! The room and then walks out the room <laughs> like I'm not gonna be a part of this. I'm not oh my gonna god, be part of this. The room. <laughs> you just I'm like not gonna daddy. abandon my son, but your son is gonna die if you don't fucking send him. You just like your daddy, bro. And then yeah. and then yeah, you man. have and then you have he just walks out, messes up his room. I would have been talking both of them up and like, hey, you know, girl. You, <laughs> hey, it's good to have you back. It's good to have you back. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, you saw the size of the bed; it's big enough. I don't, so, I don't know. I don't know if Cyclops got it like that, man. I don't know. See, that's why. He's, that's why he's a bitch. <laughs> he ain't got enough friends. I, I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. There's only so much laser. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, go shoot that, shoot that laser early. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. He's been shooting that laser a lot this season. In all different types of ways. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, shit. Uh, yo, but he did look shook when he shot Sinister, though. I'm going to shoot you? this laser. Long yo. style. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize. Wait, I didn't realize that Sinister could actually be affected by his no, laser that's, like that. That's the, that's the thing that like, like gets him the most. Like, yeah, because they they showed one of these things did like a and they were like, oh, Sinister actually gets like surprised that Cyclops beam can fuck him up, well, and they why, did it in earlier seasons. I didn't realize. To, that's why he wants to make the baby. Yeah, yeah. he wants to. He wants their DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Very cool. That's, that's what he Mm-hmm. You, guys so, yeah. you, you guys have so i we, we don't have to answer this now but i have so many questions because like i think it's a lack of knowledge on my part like i i don't know how you get two mutants as powerful as gene gray slash madeline and cyclops and you end up with cable not that cable's bad but like also the version of cable that i'm used to doesn't really maybe fully extend like the What's powers the, that, that you're used to? the one from the fucking movies i don't know the one oh. from the comic books yeah. oh <laughs> you need to go get you need to go get yeah. you, just get you a copy of new mutants that's what i'm saying so like from yeah. my perspective and, uh, i don't know the comic book cable which i'm assuming is way more <laughs> badass than the, the one we've seen in dead yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah i need God. i need to do my homework on that cable because i'm assuming cable from the comics is fucking crazy because he probably has some crazy powers that we haven't seen in movies yet. Oh, they, they nerfed so, him in the movie. Yeah. They nerfed him like a in Deadpool, he just looks like a crazy old man with a fucking gun. Like, no. and you're like, okay, that's I'm like, all right, cool. And he was cool. Don't get into it. Like, he was cool in Deadpool, but I'm like, that's obviously not the real power that Cable has because he's got their DNA. So he's got to have some cool fucking shit going on. But we could yeah. delve into that off yeah. stream if you want. But like, I gotta, I gotta read some comics on the real power that Cable has because I don't know. I'm assuming we're gonna see it in the animated series, so or to an extent. Yeah, you like you like uh, <laughs> if they do it right, you're not gonna see it this season. You're not, you're no, not no, gonna hear no, no. you're not you're not gonna hear from Cable or Bishop this season, I think. Yeah, probably not. But, but well, Bishop you, probably you, come you, back at the end though. Mm, uh, you don't think so? He might come back for something. I don't know. Uh, it was sh- such it was such an entanglement for him in the first iteration of the uh show. Mm. He yeah. came back like how many times did he show up in, in the first one? Uh, came back to to stop. He came like he back to there. stop the, the pot. He came back to stop the the stop gambit. The, stop days gambit. of Future Past, past days, days of Future Past, past. and then he came apocalypse? back to Apocalypse series. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. but oh, it 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 doesn't go well for him in the Apocalypse. He, series. he was back almost once a season though, just about right. Mm. Was I it enjoyed, almost not the I first, not, not once a season, not once a season, but he was yeah. back at least. I gotta freaking re. I I've watched half of the season. I've half of the animated series again, but I'm, I'm my mind is so hazy. Uh, probably like maybe four times, maybe okay. tops, in the in the animated series. But I figured because we're not. Gonna, remember that's an apocalypse series too. When he comes back, I figured we're probably not going to see and Cable until next season. Maybe another season, like yeah. maybe season three. Like, that's I don't I'm thinking know. that you I won't see think, Bishop yeah. maybe to the end or the next season. Because uh, by the way, oh go what? ahead. Sorry, no, no, go ahead. I was just gonna say, what up, Fatal J? Welcome, oh, Fatal on J, in. Jay, what up, bro? Fatal, what up, bro? And then, uh, sorry, hey, it's it's Kiki. Uh, this episode was great. They really turned up the animation. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree. It was it was it was dope. The fight scene dope. in the church, or wherever they were, was really cool. That yep. church looking scene. Yeah, they did. The, the animation is. I was I was so worried going into it that I wasn't gonna like the animation. It's growing on me the more I watch it. So. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm because cool. the, the story is so good. The story is good, it looks, and it's it and is, it's the, and it's the goddamn X Men. You know what I mean? What, like, dude, we want story. We want the story. X-Men. We want X Men. Yes. The yeah, X-Men. and the thing with Storm too, it's it's how they it, it, it they're speeding it up. Yeah. Because yeah. Storm Storm lost her powers and she lost it for four years. Oh so it's, damn! Yeah. So, yeah. It, so she doesn't meet For Forge until four years later, mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. didn't specify that when she met him because she just met him right off the bus in the diner or at the bar drinking a beer so in texas by the way in texas <laughs> that's right yeah they were in fucking texas. they were deep in the heart of texas deep, deep in the, in the heart, heart of texas. texas i actually know where that bar is you know <laughs> <laughs> i frequent that bar yeah, i frequent that bar <laughs> hysterical but yeah but it's it's the way they're doing it they're 
they're taking out they they're taking a lot of the muscle and the the the, the they're taking out a lot of good parts of the story without yeah. leaving you okay what's this suspense and what is this but when she gets her powers back mm. oh yep i can't wait to see that shit if she get <laughs> they do they're not going to do it this uh, with the way they're rushing it i don't know what they're going to do with her in the season but I- I can't Shit. tell you. I can't tell you the, <laughs> the depression I felt from Omega level threat detected to losing the powers. Dude, like, no son, powers, son of a bitch. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> I was so mad. I was. I was so upset. I was like, "You sons Yo, of bitches!" They gave, you they gave my her storm. Some, they gave her some moments though. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, Yo, when that Sentinel Omega level threat detected, I oh, lost. I was like, "Ah." Oh. <laughs> Dude, but the thing is, is that they're redeeming the characters that they're supposed to redeem. Yeah. Of course. Finally. Finally, they're doing that right. Yep. But yep. once she lost the powers, I was like, wow, we're going to go through that, but we're going to go through the whole depressing scene of Madeline and her? No, we're not. What the fuck? Mm. We're not going through that? We're not going to get the famous cover of Madeline holding her ass like by the fucking throat? No, we're not getting that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We're not getting that comic book cover. Come on, man, mm-hmm. give it to me. Gotta, the fuck? They, they, they they have to fit it into the amount of episodes. I know, they, 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 but so. as a comic book head, that's one of my favorite covers mm-hmm. because Bro. Storm's redemption comes after that. Like, how many episodes do you want this to be, man? One hundred and twenty-five. <laughs> They're never gonna give you that. <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen One Piece? <laughs> take, what you, take what you got. Have you seen what? That, that's why. Uh, that's why I'm like, okay, we're getting, we're getting good. But, but that's the one thing that I, like I said before, that's why DC. That's the one thing that I like about DC. They let you know, okay, these are the issues that we're working on. This is will also drive up my sales in my comic book series, and this will also bring in new readers, because that's the whole name of the game for Marvel and for Disney. So if I get new readers and I get these kids buying my X-Men 90s, my Uncanny X-Men from back in the 90s that are costing $15, I'm still making my money. Because mm-hmm. now people are, you would not believe the comic book world right now with the Uncanny X-Men. Oh, Everybody's yeah. doing their run sets. Everybody on the fucking internet is doing their run sets to complete that whole run set of Uncanny X-Men. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> Great, I'm gonna get a hype series. Which I'm missing about 60 of them. So, yes. Yeah. As though it's so, so adult. I wonder how deep into Forge and Storm are they gonna go? They I, don't think it's, I, don't, I don't know if it's gonna be a lot. It's not gonna be a lot because yeah. the, the, the depression that Storm goes through when she loses her powers, yo, it is fucking deep. Mm. The conversation that she has with Madeline should have been way deeper than that. Mm. It should have been like, I'm talking about very fucking depressing. Because in the comic book, uh, literally, <clears throat> you're going to get, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it. With Forge, that's it's a whole <laughs> big thing. <clears throat> with Forge, trying to bring her back, it's a whole big thing. So mm-hmm. I don't want to, literally, I don't want to tell you what's going to happen with that. It, so, it's sad. It's sad they can't touch on the Loki part of it, though. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. They could. Mm-hmm. No, they can't really. Nah. Why not? They can't. It, it I mean, they fit. have they have control of all of it now. They technically probably could. I mean, they could, but it just wouldn't fit right now. Mm-hmm. They have to bring her back because you know. Yep. No, what I'm waiting for is Iceman. Is that, is that actually coming though? That's gonna. You think that's gonna happen? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna get a. You're gonna get an Iceman. Not, not, not a not a cup blower. No <laughs> cup blowing nah, here, baby. Nah. No, no, cup blow, not, no cup blowing with this ice man. <laughs> Bobby Driz on another an, another Omega level threat detected. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're gonna get, and you're gonna get. You thought Scott is a bad. You thought if, if this is going what I the well, the he was a jerk. He was a jerk in the in in the original X Men animated series, right? Like, wasn't he like kind of a jerk? <laughs> yes. But you also head? you're gonna get you're gonna get um uh, Cyclops, he turns into a real dick in this series. I mean, good. Let you guys, you guys yeah. are gonna, you guys are gonna, the twist. If they're going the same way that I mentioned a couple shows before this, before the show came out, look up the name that I told you and look up hmm. that series, and look how much those comic books have gone up. Nice. Hmm. So, go back and watch. Go give us some. Go give us a couple of views and comments on that. On that. <laughs> 
I'm not telling you what episode it was either. So ah. go look, go, go look back. Go find it. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's um it's a wrap on X Men ninety seven. We're very excited about it. Looking forward to episode four. Um, any anyone else got anything else before we uh, we cut it off? We all we all good over here. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out again to uh, yes. Sean, Sean, and the groupie and Rachel. <laughs> I'm still, still not seeing Venom. <laughs> but the popcorn bucket, though. Uh, am I the only one who this Magneto? Am I the only one who th- I'm assuming thinks this Magneto is going to turn any episode now? Hmm. We're, I mean, I'm I'm always I, waiting for it. I don't bro, think so. I don't think bro, so. I already seen him turn him when he showed up. Yeah, you think so? I, that, if, if listen, if you know Magneto, then you already understand. Yeah, it's just where, 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 he's where waiting he's for at, his time. You know, mentality wise, and just his outlook on everything. So yep. everything is just a means to an end for him. Yep. Uh, this, this, you know, and he won't disrespect he can, Charles. He, that's the one thing that he. That's the one. That's the only person that he will not disrespect. Right, is Charles. Yeah. On the only thing that could, the only thing that will stop him from doing something really fucking sinister, if he did some crazy shit in the comic books. That's the one thing that'll keep him in check because he promised Charles something. Charles something. I think I feel like it's when he finds out that he's alive or something like that that he'll be like, "Oh, you alive? Why would you say that?" <laughs> I was gonna say now you just went ahead and spoiled it. I didn't spoil. <laughs> first of all, I didn't spoil anything. <laughs> I did. I said if. I said no, if. I, honestly, I've I've heard that on like several other channels that there's. I, that first of all, I said I if. Second of no, all, I know, I know. that's that's my going theory is that this man is still alive somewhere. Yeah. He is. Yeah, right. he got he got taken somewhere to heal right. or some shit. I don't know, right. whatever yeah, it is. Right. He obviously was not assassinated. Come on now, whatever. It is. Come on. All right, but that's it's that, a that, lot. That, that. All right, we're gonna cut it right there. It's an episode. But um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for stopping by. We appreciate you guys all hanging out. Uh, for myself, a a Ron, when Dizzy, Big Chase, and Leo, we are the Man Cave One One Podcast. Uh, hotheads, we see you. Like, comment, and subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Kick Rumble. Live every Thursday, giving you all your nerdy needs throughout the week. Take care and have an absolutely fantastic night. You could have had both. Both, bro. Bro. Redheads. Two redheads, too. Go on. <laughs>